All right, welcome back to another video on the Idaho Panhandlers. My name is Danny, and today's video is all about the thing that I'm sitting in right now. This is the DIY twin size porch bed swing. Kind of a mouthful, but we made this here um, just a few days ago, and it's absolutely a game changer with how we spend our evenings, how we just spend our time here on the property here in North Idaho, and I absolutely love that we did it so typically on the channel when i build things i like to tell you guys kind of how we do it give you guys cut lists if i can but what we actually did for this video was we actually bought a complete cut list and a plan off of etsy it was 15 dollars, i believe and it was super cheap but basically the plan just gave step-by-step -step directions and the full cut list and it made it extremely extremely easy to build and yeah we've knocked it out in about a weekend but if you guys enjoyed this complete build definitely be sure to check out the Etsy link down in the description below again it was $15 and I really think it was worth the money because it made this project just so so easy so without further ado I think it's about time to get into the video if you guys enjoy it be sure to leave a thumbs up on it comment down below and subscribe to the Idaho Panhandlers and let's get into the build of the DIY twin bed porch bed swing all right. Okay, so it's finally time to build this twin size porch bed swing. And essentially what I'm going to do, because we're going off the Etsy plans as mentioned earlier, is that I'm just going to take every single piece of wood that I need to cut. It has it listed out in different steps. Step one, step two, cut all these different various pieces. I'm just going to cut them all um, in the very beginning, cut them all at once. And then Tess and I, when she gets home from work, we're going to assemble it all later. So all we have here is a miter saw and we're just going to get to cutting. So it only took uh, about an hour and a half or two. All of our cuts are completely done, so we're going to move them all on the other side and start assembling. I'm just gonna put it like right here. Yeah. This is pile one. When do you think we'll get an ice cream truck up here? Oh man, we should start that. Okay. With how many neighborhoods are going in up here? I us doing that on YouTube. Perfectly square. Go on. Base done. Oh boy. Not this again. Is it even tighter? <laughs> Wood 
Whoopsies. So quick bursts, cat. There you go. Like that? Yeah. What'd you do? I glued the whole thing. <laughs> Oops. Didn't need to do that, did we? No. Oops. Oh, well. ASMR but without noise. Okay. Ready? Um half an inch overhang. So you want to grab your tape measure? Do you want there's a little overhang on the back or the front? Which one do you want? I'm almost thinking. I'm almost Probably thinking towards the back, just the back, because then so, it's, so it's flush. Into you. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Good job. Stop it! What are you doing? No, I don't want to. No, no, I don't want to do the pilot hole. You said pilot hole. No, I said you do the pilot hole. I'll do that. That's what we've been doing this whole time. Fine. Jesus. This is the last piece. Okay. Ready? It's not gonna fit. No way. <laughs> oh yeah, come on. Okay, I actually didn't measure to make sure that was the center. Oh, this is. So, well, this was the center, so I was just gonna like. Yeah. Bam. Oh, now you should actually measure it. <laughs> <laughs> yep. We're good. Don't think you're super strict. What? So you don't trust me? No, I was just making sure. <laughs> there we go. Perfect. Okay, so the rough build is done. Um, it took us probably like, what, three hours to build? Yeah. And then it took me a few hours before that to cut it. Um, but we're pushing 7 p.m. and we're about to wrap it up for the night, but we've still got a little bit of work to do. So actually what we're going to do right now is we're going to go to our local store, our local grocery store that has a hardware store in it. And we're going to pick up some, uh, what, 
Wood filler. Wood filler. And some stain, maybe. And some stain. Because what we did, what the original plans called for were actually to use like a um, 16 gauge nails and a nail gun, but we used screws because uh, we thought it would maybe beef up the integrity <laughs> here, the support um, a little bit. And so now we have a bunch of screw holes and we're just going to get wood filler to fill it and then sand it. And then the intent is to stain it tomorrow. And hang it. And hang it. And have it done. And have it be done and toast a, a nice cool beverage to it Actually, that sounds <laughs> really nice. sounds really good right now but anyway so i think that's uh that's it for the night and we're gonna wrap it up cool call tonight cool i'm hungry i'm hungry too well we lied it's about 8 p.m we're still going we'll try to get some sanding done tonight maybe uh fill the the screw holes with wood filler and then maybe uh everything will be ready to be stained by tomorrow morning really late next time. So. Hey. Uh-uh. Okay, so it's finally the next morning. So again, last night we took to get some light sanding out of the way and then we uh, wood filled all of the screw holes. And so this morning um, we're just getting back to working on it and we're actually going to hang it first and then we're going to continue sanding and staining once it's elevated off the ground a little bit. We think it'll be a little bit easier. So that's what we're gonna do next. <laughs> back now man mm -mm. Right. What, your safety? <laughs> do you want your safety glasses no I'm good oh okay but probably <laughs> So what we did for our knot for the bottom eye screw was we just tied a basic figure eight, uh, which we'll kind of demonstrate on the next side. Um, but basically, you should be able to pull it and it'll cinch down on itself. And it should be okay. So what we're going to do next is we're going to pull all the slack out of this rope and then retie it on the other side. So, try to bring it up as much as I can. But it should just be a over and around and back through. We want to try to work it up as much as we can, but that's your basic figure eight. And now we just got to kind of work it up to this eye screw by taking it and giving some. That's better. That might be the best we get there. It'll straighten up, so I'm gonna pull. There we go. That finished it pretty good. Yeah. Dang! Just because when you cinch it goes down. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's 
Is it? Yeah. It's got like, I love that it's not like a swing, it's like a whoosh, like back and forth. Uh huh. It seems pretty solid though. See, isn't this so nice? Yeah. Um, not bad for building it in literally a weekend. Two days. Two days. So. That was good. Okay, so that is it. That is the full build of the DIY twin bed porch swing. It was absolutely an amazing build. Again, it just took a weekend to build and I'm so, so glad we did it. It's been an awesome place to drink my morning coffee, for us to watch movies at night, to eat dinner. Um, we are using the heck out of this thing. And I'm so glad that we built it. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a big thumbs up on it. Comment down below, subscribe to the channel, and go check out the Etsy link down in the description below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we will see you on the next video.